This tutorial is brought to you by the Department of Performing Arts Technology at the University of Michigan. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to receive messages from your custom layout that we've created in previous tutorials into Max MSP. So to start, we call up the patch or the window that we were using in Osculator. So Osculator is a third-party program that you can get at osculator.net. Uh, you can get it as a free download or you can pay $19 at the time of this video and I would recommend paying the $19 uh, for uninterrupted work. It's, it's well worth it. It's a great tool. And I'm now going to go down to Max MSP and launch it. Go to my file menu and choose New Patcher. In this New Patcher I'm going to create an object and that is a CTL in object and I'm going to give it one argument which in this case is going to match the push control that I have showing up in Osculator that's coming from my mobile device and its value is 11. So I'm going to type in 11, hit return and I'm just going to use command C and command V make a couple copies and change these controller numbers to match the fader that's coming from my custom layout as well as the rotary knob. So I have three objects, three different controller numbers. This object receives MIDI controller information. Now just to make sure that everything is working, I'm going to create a couple of LEDs. So make that a little bit larger. And again, I'm going to command C command V and connect the outlet of each control object to its corresponding LED because I just want to know that information is getting through. Now in order to make this happen, let's lock our patcher, we need to look at one more thing. Now in my particular case, I'm only sending information from one device to one place. But often in performance or recording situations, we have multiple controllers sending sometimes the same controller message over the network. We need to be able to discern which one we want these particular controller objects to listen to. So I'm going to double click my first controller object. And you'll notice that I have all of the MIDI options that my network can see. So I have three inner application drivers. I have two that say two max MSP one, but the one that I want is right here in the middle and it's called Osculator Out. Osculator is this application that I have all of these controllers assigned in, so I want my patch to listen to what's coming from this patch in Osculator. So again, I'm gonna double click choose Osculator out. Now in my particular case I only have one controller, I only have one application so I really don't have to do anything because you notice that the default for this control object is all devices. So I just simply need to make these objects assign their appropriate number and then I'm done. But just for the sake of being thorough I'm going to choose Osculator out for each one of them. And now the last step in testing this, I'm going to grab my iPad and touch my push controller. And we see the red LED flashing, so that's working. I'm going to activate the fader, and we see that that's working. And I'm going to activate my rotary knob, and that too is working. So it's really easy. We just need to open Max MSP and create some CTL in objects where the argument is the controller number. And then we need to set up Osculator if necessary to receive what's coming from our mobile device and then translate that into something useful by applications such as Max MSP.